a, a woman, uh, a social media, she's all over social media showing off her hair, right? And um, it's, it's, she's celebrating female body hair. And, she is. Uh, oh, that's a very cleverly positioned strap across the bottom of our screen because you can't actually see the area we're talking about. Oh, but you can see her armpit there. Uh -huh. um, and the question is, is that offensive? Are we trained to find that offensive still in 2023 or do we all need to get over it? Um, let's speak this morning to Radhika Sangani. She thinks female body hair is empowering. But entrepreneur Amy Anzel believes having smooth, hella skin on the face and body is feminine and part of the feminine of uh, the female identity. And it depends what you're used to. Amy, could I ask you, first of all, um, uh, and I know uh, Radhika will disagree probably with what you're going to say, but seeing that woman... Um, show off her armpit hair. Is that a bit shocking? It is a bit shocking. I, I was pretty grossed out by it. I think that having, well, first of all, it's your body, it's your hair, you could do whatever you'd like. But in my opinion, I think it's extremely unattractive, it's unfeminine, it looks unkempt, it looks unclean, and it's frankly unhygienic. But, but are, you so, just, are you just conditioned that way through media? Well, you know, look, we live in Western society and there's just things that are, are um, expected of women. And I think we've come a long way, baby, as they say. And I think it is important that we look kempt. We brush our hair, we brush our teeth and we shave our body hair. And it's just par for the course when you're a woman. OK, well, let's get the thoughts of Radhika Sankani. Uh, is it par for the course as a woman or is it part of the patriarch? And we all have to, you know, force ourselves to become something that men find attractive. I think even the fact that, you know, we're having this question of, is it offensive? Like, we wouldn't ever say that about a man, would we? Like, when do we ever look at a man and think, oh, is his body hair offensive? So I think that question in itself just shows, you know, just how gendered this is, just how unfair it is for women. Um, and yeah, looking at the photo of this woman, like, of course, it is, it is surprising because we just don't see this often. You know, we don't see women doing this. Um, and that's obviously why it's gone viral, because people are so surprised by it. But that doesn't mean we shouldn't. You know, I think I, I, I'm a body positivity campaigner. I really believe that we should all have choice. And I think honestly, right now, as women, we don't have choice because it's so surprising when a woman has body hair. If a woman goes out on the street with body hair, people stare, people make comments. And, you know, this woman's also received a lot of negative comments online. So I think we need more women like her to be showing that there is another way of doing things. And also that a woman can still be beautiful and attractive and sexy with body hair. Um, absolutely. Um, I'm listening to what you're saying there, Radhika. But the idea that you say a man wouldn't be judged on body hair... Um, I, I do think men are judged on body hair from their head downwards. I mean, if a man has hair around his nose, for instance, or on his hands, I see people often, you know, called gorillas and whatever, if they've got hair on the front or of their no hands. Or no hair on their heads. Yes, yeah, no hair on their head. <laughs> so so um, it, it, it can be a problem for lots of people. And I think what Amy was saying is it's what now has become the norm and you're, you're saying, well, what is the norm? You know, what is the norm? The norm should be what you're comfortable with. And you, Radhika, are comfortable with hair? Yeah, definitely. You know, I think for me, like, like Isabel, I actually had laser around a decade ago. Um, and, but I always used to say at the time, I'd essentially paid like however many thousands of pounds it is, I'd paid that for equality because I got to think like a man. I got to leave the house without even looking at my body hair or thinking about it, which I just think is so unfair. And I guess that's my point. I know you're right. Men can get judged for body hair in that way, you know, nose, whatever. But women do too. Like how many women do you see, you know, after menopause, like plucking hairs on their chin and things? It's not sexy. No one talks about it, but it happens. And I think, you know, I don't think we can... It's just obvious that women yeah. get it on a level that men don't. Amy, would um, we ever see you with a hair on your chin? But, Radhika, look, <laughs> li look, ultimately, life's not fair. I try to teach that to my seven-year-old on a daily basis. It is not fair. I actually own a beauty brand, and we manufacture dermaplaning tools, which is ultimately exfoliation and hair removal. And I've sold millions around the world. I've heard from thousands of customers who have said, thank you so much. I suffer from, you know, PCOS and extreme rapid growth of hair on my face and I don't, I don't know what to do. Thank you so much 
for uh, suggesting that I use a dermaplaning tool to remove that quickly, easily, and painlessly. We actually call these our confidence sticks, these Hollywood browsers, because so many women say, I'm so embarrassed by my upper lip hair or my pesky chin hairs, and now I have a way to remove them at home in the comfort of my own home. And I'm so, it makes me feel so good because I feel that when a woman feels like they look good, they feel good inside. And, you know, body positivity comes in lots of, from lots of ways. So I, I feel that a woman feels very positive about her body when she gets to remove that hair and, and feels beautiful and smooth and ultimately attractive as a woman. What do you make I agree, that? you know, that confidence... Confidence is the way forward. We all want to feel good in our appearance. But I think the problem is right now in the society we live in, it's really, it's only really easy to feel confident without body hair because that's what we've been conditioned into. And, you know, the history of it came about because of advertising. Like, that's how we've all become you know, that's how this has all begun. And what I just really want to see is a change in beauty standards so that there are options yeah. so that we don't just see women with no hair as attractive. We can see women like this woman and see that that's attractive. And, yeah. you know, but I think it's starting to change. In my friendship group particularly, I see more and more women um, owning their body hair. I was just at the beach this weekend in Brighton with a friend and she doesn't do anything with her, with her bikini line. And she just owned it and looked sexy and cool. And I do think that the more women do this, the more it's changing. Yeah. But I think but, that's But Rudika, did you, sorry, you said you had an electrolysis, so... No, laser, it's different, but yeah. Yeah, but did it, <laughs> did it work? Did it wear off? Yeah, it does work. It's, it's been about a decade and it's starting to wear off. So, you know, if I leave my body hair now, it doesn't make the statement that it might for the other women. Mm. But I am allowing myself to. And over time, if it comes back and it's there, I, you know, I just think, why not? And what I yeah. love about this woman to is... To use a gardening term, every- you're rewilding. <laughs> <laughs> That's so funny. But, um, I just want to p- come back to you, Amy, because, you know, something that Radhika said is about the thousands of pounds she spent on, on laser a, a decade ago. And I remember from my teens onwards, you know, playing a lot of sport, spending a fortune, getting waxes and all the rest of it. It's painful, it's expensive, and it's a real pain. And you've got to accept that there is a part of being a woman that is, is a bit unfair when it comes to all of this. Of course, and the hair removal product industry is worth five billion dollars worldwide and it's just going up and up and up but i wanted to address the fact that you might be able to walk around the beach or your friend without shaving your bikini line or removing your leg hair but you know children are still being made fun of in school at a young age i I speak to so many customers on a daily basis and they say my daughter is made fun for her hairy arms can we use your products on their hairy arms and the answer is yes and we encourage that because ultimately you want children to feel good and not be bullied when they're in school and i'm so proud of the fact that i can give people the tools to remove that hair if that's of choice guys we've got to leave it there thank you very much interesting you've opened up the whole uh, debate i'm just watching my laptop blow up with emails (laughs) and roughly (laughs) most people amused by your facial expression when i talked about laser hair (laughs) they said amen please never change (laughs) You're like, oh. <laughs> but, I didn't, but I didn't know the half of that, or the know. difference between laser and it. electrolysis, but, um, or indeed that you were hairy. Oh, stop it. No, no, all it's... women are hairy. You have to no, get but, rid of your but hair. You're, but you're not hairy anymore. Oh, stop it. It's not about me making me blush. 